Happy Easter. It's Easter. It's Easter. Is this going on Easter Sunday? Yeah, it is going on Easter Sunday. Happy Easter Sunday. We're actually recording this on the 3rd of April um, at 1am on the 3rd of April. Smash that subscribe button because we have pre-recorded videos for you. Hopefully you're enjoying them. Hopefully you're loving them. You've seen most of them by now. I would say uh, check out Patreon because we've been uploading early access stuff. But today's the last day. Today's the last day of early access. But hopefully you've been enjoying it. If you're all on Patreon, we'd have mentioned it in videos before. Smash that subscribe button. Hopefully we're closer to 160,000 than we were at the start. And um, so we get into 260, it. 260,000? 160. Oh, we said 200. I might have said 200. It is like <laughs> Smash that button just uh, cause we're nowhere near. <laughs> to appreciate it. We'd really appreciate it. And uh, I wonder what you guys are doing on Easter. So let us know in the comments. If it is an American in the UK... Saying yeah. what US versus UK Easter is? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's get into it. What we got? Hey guys, it's Amanda. I'm an American living in the UK. So I post about my life and experiences living here, as well as weekly reactions requested by all of you. Hey, we do that. Now, as some of you weekly know, reactions. I've moved house. So sorry that I've been a bit MIA, but MIA <laughs> sounds a bit Australian. <laughs> But I'm back. <laughs> but let me know what you think of the new setup. I just think it's really warm and cozy. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Anyway, as Easter is this month, I thought it'd be fun to compare the holiday in the US and UK. And as most of us know, it's a Christian celebration that rejoices in the rebirth of Jesus Christ after his crucifixion on Good Friday. Yeah. Now, I'll be comparing my own experiences with it. So as with all of my videos, I'm not saying that every British or American family is exactly the same. I remember I have so many wonderful memories growing up with my siblings. And I just think it's really interesting to learn about how other people celebrate. So before we start, let me know how you do it. Yeah, let us know in the do comments any below. Special things that you do or things that you did growing up. Put it in the comments. Number one, when is it? There isn't actually a set date that it falls on each year because okay. it follows the lunar calendar. It's always on the Sunday after the spring equinox. And in 2022, that happens to be April 17th in both the U.S. and the U.K. Okay. Number so, two. So I'm assuming it's always Time the same on. U.S. and U.K. Event. They're always the same, but it just depends on which day. Whereas this year, it's the 9th of April. 9th of April, one day after your birthday. So say happy birthday to Millie for yesterday. It was yesterday. <laughs> yeah. In the U.K., Easter is a bank holiday. So most people have off, but not just on the actual day. Some places even close on the Friday before, so Good Friday, and on the Monday after. Most places. So it's a nice, it's long four-day weekend. Yeah. Unfortunately, none of those days are considered a federal or public holiday for my fellow Americans. So it's pretty much mm. life as normal for most people. However, oh, that's harsh, isn't it? Like, that's sad. Yeah, we look so forward to it. You think, oh, Easter weekend. Four especially days. Because I've booked off this week and one day next week. So I, I booked off four days this week, but I get five days off in here. Yeah, so you get, you're like off for like nine days, but actually you've only had to book like book of a cost of four. And then yes, everyone yeah. gets some four days off in the middle, obviously the weekend and the two bank holidays. But because you're off for an extended period of time with them, yeah. it only costs a four, it feels good. Yeah, it was a small move. <laughs> it was. 12 states that recognize Good Friday as a public holiday. So like state offices and banks and schools and things like that will be closed. Sadly, Pennsylvania was not included in that list, so I never had the day off until I moved here. That's Number why she moved three. For Easter. <laughs> the White House Easter egg roll. <laughs> it literally what? sounds like I just made that up. I've heard it's about a this. a huge Dr. event Obama with loads one. of sure. entertainment, oh. so an egg hunt, and obviously an egg roll where they literally roll eggs down a hill. <laughs> but it's held at the White House every Easter for children across the nation where families have to enter into a lottery and whoever is chosen gets to attend that year. That's pretty Another cool. Another tradition that ties into that is the White House Easter Egg Collection that began in 1994, where artists from across the U.S. create decorated eggs to represent each state and then send them to the White House to be displayed. That's Number cool four, well. that. chocolate Easter eggs. When I moved here, I quickly learned that they are a staple. They've been in all the shops since like the end of February, beginning yeah. of March. <laughs> January in some shops. It's normally as soon as the Christmas stuff the goes out, Easter. the Easter stuff comes in. Halloween will be out soon. Yeah, we're... amazing. It's a hollow chocolate egg filled with treats inside of it, Wait, and what? there are so many different kinds Wait, to choose from: Galaxy, Malteser, treats Dairy inside, Milk, which is definitely my favorite, the fruit and nut. 
so good. It's true. From my experience, pretty much oh. every British person will either give or receive an Easter egg from either yeah. family, friends, and even their workplace. And the Easter and Bunny. It's going to be shocking. Oh, yeah, obviously it's for the Easter Bunny, not, not us. It's obviously the Easter Bunny, obviously. Joker. But before moving here, I've never had one. I think because they do like Easter we don't baskets. really have giant Easter eggs. Oh, what? You guys are. I mean, they I'm. Do like not... Easter baskets. Like, really? Like gifts. Oh, I mean, I'm not really a big Easter egg eater. You yeah, love when them, you're don't a you? kid. But only a kid, I loved them as well. We're going to have to think about what we're going to do next year. Yeah, we'll have a kid we're going next to be year. The Easter Bunny next we year. We will. The Easter Bunny will have to come. Little footprints on the floor. But yeah, we, we a lot of people get eggs. I've never seen eggs with treats inside of them, though. I have. Some of the dairy milk ones will have dairy milk buttons inside. Oh, okay. But majority of them have a little bag. Oh, so the mini egg ones will have a little bag of mini eggs. She can eat them whenever. Yeah. That makes sense. Rather than the inside the egg. Yeah, I normally get the cheap eggs. <laughs> but Easter eggs are all good. <laughs> um, we do have, like, they're like this big, roughly, and they're filled eggs. So, like, they, mine would be, like, oh, wow. peanut butter filled. Wow. But you can get coconut and I can't remember the other ones. It's been so long since I had them. But they are delicious. But that's kind of sort of similar, the same thing. Not really. Yeah, so a bit Chris different anyway. Yeah. Chocolate Easter eggs, whether they're massive giant ones or the filled ones that I used to have, are wonderful. Number five, Easter basket. I had the same Easter basket every year growing up, and it would be filled with like colored fake grass, you said basket, chocolate, didn't you? and candy. My mom would actually hide our basket in the morning, so we'd have to find it. I can't wait. It was wait always to so much fun. And after talking with people. I realized they weren't really a done thing years ago. It was all about the chocolate Easter egg. But they are getting much more popular yeah. now because I have mm -hmm. seen the um, loads of baskets in the shops. And all my friends are getting them for their kids. So obviously over time, they are much more popular. Yeah. Number six, Easter egg hunt. Both countries have them. They're eggs. They're hidden. And the children have to go and find them. Yeah. But the one difference that I did find is the it. actual <laughs> eggs themselves. In the U.S., the eggs were almost always plastic, and then they were, they were like those ones you, know, you put together, and then they were filled with candy, chocolate, little toys, whatever. But here in the U.K., from my experience, eggs. they're just made of chocolate. Yeah, like, and sometimes like cream eggs and stuff like that. We love chocolate eggs. Eggs. Yeah, we like chocolate <laughs> eggs on Easter. And this year, some egg hunts in my local area are doing really cool things. Like in the woods, they're putting up painted Easter eggs that children have oh, to go okay. and look for. I just never saw anything like that. So we are definitely going to be doing that this that year. That is pretty cool, isn't Number it? Number seven, decorations. I know I've said this in one of my other videos. We Americans can be slightly over the top with our decorations, which I don't think is a bad thing. It's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And Easter is no exception. We have fake grass, bunnies, and eggs all covering in our windowsills. Awesome. And festive decals covering our windows, which you don't really see here. Yeah, you just get the decorations. Yeah. Just care about the chocolate. Except for my house. We are fully decorated. Very cool. <laughs> I really enjoyed making this video. I'm a sucker for the holidays. It doesn't matter which one it is. But let me know if there's anything I missed or what you would add. I hope you all have a happy Easter. Yeah, with I your think family. in the UK it's not very decorated, is it? Uh, no, in general, I think. Obviously, everyone there's gets There's certain households that. that do. But... Definitely. But in general, it's not really that decorated, yeah, is it? No. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it, guys. Smash that subscribe button as well. That was a good video, wasn't mm, it? It was interesting. Interesting. We've learned a little bit more about your Easter. You've learned a bit about us. Let us know what you're doing today in the comments below. And watch the video. Have a fantastic day. And we will see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.